Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technology Connection, a service of the Office of Information Technology at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. We're glad you're here today. Uh, we want to talk to you today just a little bit about bookings, uh, software that uh, Courtney and I have been using for some time now to help us book appointments. Courtney, I'm really looking forward to hearing more about this software today. Yeah, I, I love bookings, Steve. It helps me keep that email volley back and forth between people people down to a minimum when trying to schedule appointments with somebody. Yeah, rather than me sending you an email and saying, hey, can we meet at this time? And you send in an email back and say, no, we can't meet at this time. It goes back and forth. This yep. program is amazing. I think they're going to love it. Hey, I'm going to switch over to where you're sharing screen here so they can they can see what we're talking about. Absolutely. So the screen you're looking at right now is I've logged into Microsoft 365. Um, right. So you just get here by going to office365.utk.edu, um, and it will take you in here. The icon that we're looking for is this little B, this bookings icon. Now, you may not have this on your screen if you haven't been into bookings yet, but this waffle icon up here will bring you to the full listing of the apps, and you can click this all apps, and it will show you all the apps in here, and we're looking for bookings. So I'm going to click oh on this. And it's going to take us right over into bookings. Right. So we're at the main landing page. And I want to show you guys a couple quick features in here. But as always, if you're interested in getting this set up for yourself, contact the OIT help desk. And we'll schedule a consultation with you to help you get this set up. And couple we off also offer a few workshops yes, in we bookings. Do. They can take the workshop too, which will be great. All right, I'm going to switch over just to your screen, Courtney. We can see what's going on. Okay, so the couple things I want to show you guys here is in the business information, this is where you set up all your basic stuff of who you are, where you are, that type of thing. But you can also set your business hours. So this would be like when you would be available for appointments. Under the services is actually where you set your appointment types. Um, so you can see I have a couple different ones in here. I'm going to jump into this Microsoft Office consultation one. And what you're going to see in here is just some basic information here. Now, one of the things I really want to point out is Microsoft has enabled this to do online meetings. Now, these online meetings by default are through Microsoft Teams, which we've talked about before. Love the product. It's a good service. But I know some of you guys prefer meeting in Zoom. The workaround there is you put your Zoom link in there and it will schedule that meeting through Zoom for you and put that as your location. Works really, really well. You can set your duration of your meeting, but one thing I wanna point out here is this buffer time gives you that ability to add a little bit of time before or after your meetings so that you get a little bit of breather room between these meetings especially in this virtual environment where we're meeting because there's so many times where we have meetings back to back to back to back and we just need a second to be able to grab something to drink and take a short break from the computer. You know, and so these services are different kinds of meetings that we can have, like a consultation meeting or a meeting to discuss a student's schedule or something like that. It can be all kinds of services you can set up. Yep. That's so really great. The service connotation just comes from, they originally use this for frontline workers and it's been adapted for a lot of different things. Well, I think when the, when the meeting uh, invitation comes and it says what kind of service it is, it kind of gives you a clue as to what the meeting's going to be about, which is really helpful. Yep. A couple other things right. I want to show down here is this custom fields. You can yeah. actually ask questions in it. So I've got this modified uh, so I'm not requiring any of the basic customer information, but what I do want is what your current role at UT is, um, your email. I also want to know what office product you're having issues with so I can prepare a little bit more. But you can customize these with any types of questions you want. There you go. I like that. The other thing I want to show you down here is right now I've got my scheduling for this tied to my open business hours, but you can actually set these up to have unique time slots. So let's say you only want this meeting type available on Monday and Friday afternoons. 
you could actually set that in there. Those are the only open times. Now, the neat thing, I'm going to discard this because I haven't made any changes here. I'm going to jump right. over to staff because the biggest question we have with this is how do you set it so that it doesn't overwrite your calendar? Well, right. when you create yourself as a staff member in here, I've got this little checkbox that says events on my office calendar affect my availability. So if I have something already blocked on my calendar, you can't schedule a time for it. And I can also set what my availability is in here for those days. You know, I really like that feature, Courtney, because we can go in there and we can say, you know, I only want to have meetings from from noon through four o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. And that'll be the only times that people will be allowed to set up meetings with us. That is terrific so right there. It makes you, it really flexible. Yeah, you'll notice that mine is nine to four thirty here. It's like I keep that first hour of the day just to get prepped. I don't want to start the day with a meeting if I can help it. And there then I always save that last 30 minutes of the day to try and finish up whatever I need to finish up for the day, sending last minute emails, those types of things. It's perfect. Perfect. So, all right, what's next in here? Once you have this all set up, um, you come to this booking page. Yeah. This is where you'd actually publish it. And by mm -hmm. publish it, it creates a live website for people to go to, and it gives you this lovely little link here, which I'm going to copy right now, and I'm going to open up a new page. If I copied it correctly, <laughs> I did not. Let me come back out That's here. All right. Must have been a loose nut behind your keyboard. There's always one of those. Yeah. There we go. There it is. And let me show you what this page looks like. So when you come out to this page, once you have it published, you'll see those services that I had, that Microsoft yep. Office consultation. I click there, and it shows you all the days that I have set up. Now the fun So the part, days that are in dark black, I can book an appointment? Yep. You can go and okay. select there. Like on Wednesday, you see that I've got three meeting times available. Yep. Gotcha. Um, the, the nice thing about this is I've got it set so that you can only book with me up to three weeks out. So I still have a chance to book vacations and stuff like that out. But there you go. You also can't book more than eight hours um, from now. So so from right now, you see this is Tuesday, March 9th right now. You can't book anything with me today. And you can only right. book tomorrow afternoon because of the way I have this set up so that I don't get same day appointments so that it can yeah. be a little and bit this time. page is actually looking at your Outlook calendar, and it's looking to see if you're free during those times, and if you are, it'll book an appointment for you. This yep. is super, man. This is really good. So yeah, so it gives you this link. Now I know Steve and I with this link, we've used our tiny.utk.edu <laughs> link shortener to create yeah. a much more manageable link because. Trying to give someone this link is... <laughs> it's crazy. It's yeah. not easy. And what I did on my signature line, Courtney, is I put a piece of clip art there that says schedule an appointment. And then I made that, I linked that, I hyperlinked that picture to that link right there. Yep. And it makes it really nice. People can just click on that picture in my signature and boom, it takes them to my page. And it's yeah, really nice. that makes it really easy. Um, I honestly, I don't use the connect to Facebook button here, but the last thing I want to show before we jump off today is require a Microsoft 365 or Office 365 account from my organization. This means that you can limit it to only UTK people can book right. that appointment with you. And then I also disable this direct search engine indexing. So it's not going to appear on Google. So there you go. this ensures that only UTK people can schedule appointments with me. I love it. This is good information, Courtney. Really good stuff right there. I think folks will, um, I know there's a lot of departments on campus that are using this. A lot of folks on campus are using this. Uh, I worked with a, um, a student counselor the other day, and uh, she's using it for her students to book in scheduling appointments with her to work on their schedules, you know, for the following semester or something. It's really a great, great tool. It hey, does, thanks for that, Courtney. Yeah, it does take a few minutes to set up in the beginning, but once you get it going, it saves so much time 
on yeah. those back and forth emails. So. And, you know, one of the things you and I learned is when you look at that menu, you know, that's over there on the left hand side, what we learned is when you're setting this thing up, if you'll start from the bottom and work up, <laughs> everything just seems to fall together easily. So start by putting your business information in, then your services, then your staff, just work your way up the last. And by the time you get up the booking page, you'll be ready to uh, put it out there online. Well, guys, thanks for coming today. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you need additional help, please, please, please call the help desk, uh, 974-9900, and uh, tell them you want to talk to the guys about uh, setting up a booking page. Courtney and I will be more than happy to meet with you and uh, help you in any way we possibly can. We also uh, teach classes and workshops in all the other Microsoft technologies, so if you need help with those, be sure and reach out to us, okay? So when, you, when it takes you out to YouTube from the website, just... Uh, Click on that thumbs up and leave a comment for us if you want to. We'd love to hear what you think. And uh, if there are other things that you would like to see us cover in the vodcast, be sure and let us know. Uh, we're always looking for new ideas and things to share. Sound good? I think we covered it, Courtney. What do you think? Sounds good. Yeah. Good. Like I said, send us a, a request for an appointment. We'll send you a bookings link and get you guys set up. There you go. Thanks, Courtney. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful week. Y'all take care. Bye, Courtney. Bye, Steve.